Hello, my name is Matteo Sodano, and today I'm going to present my paper, Robust Double Encoder Network for RGBD Panoptic Segmentation. Let's start with a bit of motivation. Perception is crucial for autonomous systems that act in real-world environments. Robots need visual understanding of the environment they navigate into to act properly. Semantic scene perception and understanding is a key capability of a truly autonomous system, and it is achieved by panoptic segmentation. Panoptic segmentation is a task that unifies semantic and instant segmentation. Semantic segmentation associates every pixel of an image with a class label and cannot distinguish between different instances all in the same category. In contrast, instant segmentation aims to distinguish between different objects, and it treats multiple objects of the same semantic class as distinct instances. In this work, we focus on panoptic segmentation for RGBD data. RGBD cameras are a very common sensor for robots to navigate in an indoor environment. However, we also try to handle the case in which only RGB or only DEF is available. This can happen if a robot is equipped with both RGBD and RGB cameras, and therefore being able to deal with both sensor modalities with the same model is better than having to have a model for each sensor, or in case one modality is not reliable, such as in the case the robot is navigated at night or in the dark and therefore RGB is not usable, or in case the robot is exposed to direct sunlight and the depth is unreliable. Our approach consists of a convolutional neural network that takes the RGB and the depth frames as inputs and it gives both semantic and instant segmentation masks as output. Let's have a better look at the architecture now. Our convolutional neural network is composed of two separate encoders for RGB and depth processing. Despite being separate, we use a feature fusion module called FF in the image that merges RGB and depth features at different stages in the encoder. We have three decoders for the panoptic task. Specifically, one decoder targets semantic segmentation, while the other two predict object centers and object embedding vectors. For the embeddings, we aim to have similar embedding vectors for pixel belongings to the same instance and different embedding vectors for pixels belonging to different instances. Finally, center and embeddings are post-processed with the help of the semantic segmentation for consistency between classes and objects in order to obtain the final instance masks. Let's now have a closer look at the feature fusion model. In the literature, double encoder architectures with late feature fusion, which means that the fusion happens only at the, after the encoding part, are the most common way to deal with RGBD segmentation. We follow a different strategy where we use feature fusion in the encoders after every down sampling stage. Additionally, we designed our own novel feature fusion model and compared it against other fusion models that share similar characteristics. Our feature fusion model, called residual excite, evolves from common channel attention fusion strategies such as squeeze and excitation and convolutional block attention model. It consists of an excitation block, which is a sequence of convolutions that do not alter the dimension of the feature map, so as to give a weight to each entry of the input feature. This reweighting is then applied to the input features, RGB and depth respectively, and the reweighted features are eventually summed up together. A residual connection preserves the original RGB feature coming from the network. As seen in the image, this is only applied to, our, to the RGB feature, the depth feature is in contrast kept as it is. Basically, we are using depth features to enrich the RGB features and not vice versa. In an ablation study that you can find on the paper, we also compare this strategy against the opposite one, in which depth is enriched by RGB, which stays the same in its own branch. The other contribution that we bring is that our network is able to deal with missing cues. As discussed, we propose a double encoder network for RGBD panoptic segmentation, and the image here shows the standard workflow in nominal conditions. However, in case only RGB is available, we can freeze the depth decoder and have the network process only the RGB queue. This can happen at both training and inference time. This is a useful feature when the depth is missing, such as in the case of a robot equipped with both RGBD and RGB cameras, and we do, want, we do not want to bring separate models for the two sensors. Or in the case in which we're able to discard depth features because we think that they're unreliable, such as the RGBD camera is ex exposed to direct sunlight. Similarly, we can freeze the RGB encoder and operate with depth only again at both training and inference time, and in practice this is useful if the robot navigates a dark environment where the RGB is unreliable. We evaluated our approach on two publicly available datasets. The one we report here is Scanet. You can find similar results on the HyperSIM datasets on the paper. In this plot we show the panoptic quality and the mean intersection over union of our approach compared to some baselines. We chose different architectures such as Ethernet, which also proposes a double encoder architecture, or Panoptic Deep Lab, which is original RGB network, which he adapted to RGBD by feeding it a four-dimensional frame, where depth is concatenated to RGB. We also chose different fusion, fusion modules, namely Squeeze and Excitation and CBAM, and 
Here we show that our approach achieves the best performance on all metrics on both data sets. Here some qualitative results, uh, where the input RGB and the ground truth are shown. In the circles, you can see challenging scenarios where the network is expected to segment fine-grained objects or put together separate segments into the same object. And in the red circle, you can see the errors produced by the baselines, while in the green circle, you can see how our approach achieves correct segmentation of the scene. In conclusion, I presented our work for RGB deep optic segmentation based on a convolutional neural network composed of two separate encoders. We also introduced a novel feature fusion module, which achieves state-of-the-art performance. Additionally, our network is able to deal with RGBD, RGB only, and DEF only data at both training and test time. Thank you for the attention, and don't hesitate to contact me in case you have any questions.